Hi friends, today we are going to study strength of material subject in which mechanical properties of material chapter, objective question and answers. So let's start. A thin mild steel wire is loaded uniformly increasing load till the wire breaks the change of length take place as informally throughout first increases and then decreases uniformly increases and then rapidly increases rapidly increases and then informally increases here the question is we have a mild steel wire which is loaded and here load is going to increase informally and it is kept on loading till the wire breaks so they are asking change of length take place as out of these four options so here we have a stress strain curve as well as load versus extension that is change of length curve here up to the elastic limit the extension here is in form once the elastic limit is crossed the length will start to increase rapidly in this curve in this portion therefore the option C is correct option. The property of a material by virtue of which it can be beaten or rolled into thin plates is called as malleability, ductility, plasticity and elasticity. So they are asking which property of the material by virtue of which it can be beaten or rolled it can be beaten or rolled into thin plates so here we have four options so first look out this malleability is a substance ability to deform under pressure that is compressive stress if the if a malleable material may be flattened into thin sheets by hammering or rolling therefore the property is malleability whereas ductility is a ability to deform under inform tensile stress this is the property in the ductility therefore this is wrong answer plasticity is also a wrong answer elasticity is also a wrong answer hardness is resistance to indentation scratching abrasion all of above so let's know what is the hardness hardness is defined as the ability of a material to resist plastic deformation usually by indentation the term may also refer to resistance to scratching abrasion cutting and penetration so we have indentation that is in the hardness as well as scratching is also there and abrasion is also there therefore option d is correct option strain is defined as the ratio of change in cross section to original cross section so they are telling that change in cross section delta cs by original cross section and then they are telling change in length delta L to original length that is L and then change in volume to original volume change in volume to original volume so all up above so strain is comes under all of these that is change in cross section by original cross section 
change in length by original length change in volume by original volume therefore option d is correct option a material capable absorbing large amount of energy before fracture is known as shock proof toughness fatigue energy and plasticity material capable to absorbing large amount of energy before fracture is known as toughness of the material select the correct sequence for a mild steel under tensile stress elastic limit proportional limit yielding and failure so they have given some options here 3 1 3 2 1 2 1 3 4 2 3 4 1 4 3 2 1 if we see the stress strain curve we can answer this very easily the very first comes is proportional limit so we have proportional limit as option 2 2 and then elastic limit so 1 and then there is a upper yield point and lower yield point so that comes under yielding that is 3 so 2 1 3 and then failure failure or fracture that is in the end stage that is 4 so 2 1 3 4 is the correct option that is option b impact strength of a material is hardness toughness creep none of above so impacting means suddenly applying load on a particular object so there is some mass m here we are suddenly dropping on this particular element so this loading is called impact loading so impact strength is a toughness of that material during a tensile test of a specimen of 2 cm square cross section area so area given here is 2 cm square maximum load is 100 kN so i can write this as f maximum is equal to 100 kN and area of cross section at neck is 50 pi cent cm square so area of cross section at neck is 50 pi cm square uts ultimate tensile strength of specimen is 580 mega pascal 400 mega pascal 550 mega pascal 440 mega pascal so we have ultimate tensile strength equal to maximum load to the cross section area that is initial cross section area so we have maximum load is 110 kN so we convert this into newton so 100 into 10 raised to 3 whereas cross section area is 2 cm square that is in meters it is 2 into 100 so once we calculate this value is 550 mega pascal therefore option c is correct option a material which has identical properties in all direction is homogeneous material isotropic material elastic material or orthotropic material so here a homogeneous material has a properties same properties at every point that means an each point of the material which has same property is called as homogeneous material whereas isotropic property in which material has same property in all the direction so that is the question asked here identical properties in all the directions so therefore answer is isotropic property whereas orthotropic material have properties that differ along their mutual or orthogonal axis 
they are subset of an isotropic material because their properties change when measured from different directions that means orthotropic material properties change from different directions therefore orthotropic property is also wrong option and elastic property is property which allows to material to get behave as a elastic therefore this is also wrong answer therefore option b is correct option angst modulus is defined as the ratio of lateral stress to the lateral strain holometric stress to holometric strain longitudinal stress to lateral strain longitudinal stress to longitudinal strain as angst modulus is defined as longitudinal stress to the longitudinal strain and here these options are wrong options the energy absorbed in a body when it is strained within the elastic limit is known as strain energy resilience proof resilience and modulus of resilience so answer is resilience because resilience is the ability of material to absorb energy when deformed elastically and release this energy when load is removed that means it absorb energy when deformed elastically resilience of a material is fatigue creep shock loading resonant condition so here fatigue is the weakening of a material caused by repeatedly applied loads in putting what happens we are applying loads repeatedly that means after very small interval of time we are applying one more load after a little interval of time we are applying one more load so in the putting we are applying loads repeatedly whereas in creep it is a tendency of a solid material to move slowly or deform permanently under the influence of mechanical stresses it is a tendency of a solid material so fatigue is also wrong creep is also wrong in shock loading it is a sudden acceleration caused shock loading is because we know shock system means that a sudden so it is comes under impact drop kick earthquake or explosion therefore resilience is coming under shock loading so whereas in resonance is a phenomena in which vibrating system or external forces drives another system to oscillate with greater amplitude at specific frequencies therefore resonance condition is also wrong option so if we see again resilience is the ability of a material to absorb energy when it is deformed elastically and release that energy upon unloading so it is absorbing energy when it is deformed elastically and it is releasing that energy upon unloading that is shock loading therefore option c is correct option brittle material pale by shearing along the plane inclined at there is a dash shear to the longitudinal axis 35 to 45 degree 50 to 60 degree 10 to 12 degree none of above so here you can see brittle material are the materials that do not have plastic deformation brittle materials you can see here brittle materials have only elastic deformation there is no plastic deformation their stress strength stress stress strength curves have little or no deformation once they reach their maximum tensile strength 
they fail yeah once they reach their maximum tensile strength so they will fail without signals of their being close to fail therefore in brittle material the plane is inclined at 50 to 60 degrees match the list one these are the material in the list with its angst modulus this two has the angst modulus the answer is 2431 that means brass has angst modulus of 96 to 110 gigapascal whereas steel has a angst modulus of 192 to 210 gigapascal and aluminum has a angst modulus of 70 to 79 gigapascal and cast iron has a angst modulus of 83 to 170 gigapascal if you have any questions or comments text in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe because subscription is free and also you get the notification of upcoming videos and please like and share thank you